All right, guys, uh, we've got all of our design stuff set up and ready to go with our application. What we're going to start now is uh, working on the code. We're going to start at the place that seems the most obvious for me to start, uh, which is uh, some basic navigational pieces. So um, uh, let's start, and uh, I'm going to go into my design window and click on my uh, start screen. So that's the screen that I started. It doesn't really, I don't really have to be there, but I want to think through this in terms of logically how this application launches and then uh, what do I do as uh, as I work through that application when it starts. So um, that's where we're going to go. Whoa, I feel like this happened the other day. So uh, look at that, we're on our search screen. And magically, so the thing I was next going to say is that in order to get the code, we're going to need to switch from the design tab to the code tab. And then once we do, uh, we should be in pretty good shape. The first thing we're going to do is um, is start by setting our screen to, um, excuse me, setting our screen to a start screen, right? Uh, our very uh, beginning should be making sure that we start our um, program in the right place. So. Um, if we scroll through this list, we should be able to find set screen. There it is. So set screen, our first block of code, and we'll set that screen to uh, start screen. So that's just telling our program that when we start this program, we want to start this program on our start screen. The next things we're going to do is uh, put in some on event blocks. So we'll start with the first one. We're looking at our start screen. What do we do? Well, if that start button is, is um, clicked on, I see we got a lot of buttons here. Let's scroll through this list. Start button. So if the start button is clicked, what do we want to happen? We want to set the screen to uh, that next screen. There's my set screen. There's set screen. And that next screen, if you remember, was our... Um, shape menu screen, right? So if we uh, click run here on our emulator and then click the start button, we should go to our, uh, our, our menu, right? Which is a, a, great, a great first step. And again, I haven't really done a lot, but uh, already we've set it up so that our first button does work. So uh, let, me, let me click run, click that again. And then I'm just going to leave that right there. <coughs> Excuse me. The sneeze. Uh, so um, we're looking at what's next. And what's next is we've got two more buttons here, a triangle button and a quadrilateral button. What do we do when we, those are clicked? So again, on event, and I'm going to drag in both of them right now since my uh, since the, the the things that I want to happen with those events are, are much different places in my code. So on event, well, that's our triangles button. We should be able to find it in triangle button. There you go. I'm reading all of these and it looks like, yep, triangle button. That's the button that's going to take us to triangle land. And uh, this one is quadrilaterals button. That'll be in the Qs. Uh, Q, R, quadrilateral button. There you go. So if the triangles button is clicked, what are we going to do? We're going to go to that triangle screen. So set screen to triangle menu. And if the quadrilateral button is clicked, we're going to, not surprisingly, set screen to quadrilateral menu screen. Now, we've got a lot more code to do, obviously. But this is the, the really kind of the basic beginning code. Uh, if we hit the reset button and click run, run, and then we click the start button, now we can click on either of these and get to the menu. Now you can see our main menu button doesn't work yet, but that'll be the next thing that we take a look at. 